Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 739. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 736 to 739, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, we've got to see how to do three different, use three different methods for doing underline. And actually, uh, Mr. Excel did a video like this just a few months ago, but uh, someone at my school asked me about this, and it's such a cool trick, I had to do a video on it. There's uh, that way that way and that way. Now it just depends. Right? Maybe you want the whole cell uh, so you're going to use uh, borders. Maybe you want the actual symbol and the number then you're going to use double underline or maybe you're going to use double accounting underline. These are um, in the font dialog box. This is um, in the borders dialog box. It's all format selling, but or actually the borders tab and the font tab. So this one, I'm going to control one. And up here under borders, I'm just going to say double. So line, color, maybe I'll do a color here just for fun. Line, color, and then click and draw. So that'll do the whole bottom of the cell. right? So you can see right there. And then uh, the double, control one. And we're going to go font. And uh, right here under underline, there is double. I'm going to click OK. And so that does the uh, symbol and the number. And then here we'll do control. Actually, let's try control shift F. Control shift F goes straight to the uh, font. Control shift F. Uh, double accounting. And then uh, click OK. And so there you have it, three ways to do double underlining, including Control plus Shift plus F for the font tab. This would be the uh, font tab in uh, Format Cells dialog box. All right, um, we'll see you next trick.